I apologize. I'm like really nervous right now. <laughs> Dude, don't worry. Do you do you want to do you want to reschedule so we have more time? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. It's it's fine. It's fine. I am I'm good right now. I think I got everything set up. I should be fine. Okay. Uh, yes, that looks awesome. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. Uh, it's a pleasure to, uh, meeting you. <laughs> Thank we you. actually, Fun. we met uh, actually like several times kind of before. I think like maybe two times before. Which, um, which meant? Sonic, the uh, Sonic Symphony uh, 2023 and also the 25th anniversary party. Wow. So 2023 Sonic uh, Symphony LA or Boston? Yeah. Uh, LA. LA. What, did you go to the afternoon show or the evening? Uh, the evening show. Oh, man, was that awesome? Oh, yeah, definitely. That was absolutely insane. And that was with Kellen Quinn, too, right? That show, yeah. Yeah. That was, You guys were so loud in the audience that it hurt my ears. Oh. It was, uh, it was <laughs> a great, it was great. It was so awesome. So awesome. Loved it. Loved it. So I want to thank you for your contribution to uh, Heart Association. Um, thank you so much for the donation. And I'm, I'm, I'm so glad to be here with you. And if fire away any questions or anything you want to talk about, that's why I'm here. I'm here to thank you. Uh, all right. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of stuff right now. Like my mind is like, wow. <laughs> That's no problem at all. No problem. First, let me ask you a couple questions. Did you see the Sonic 3 trailer today? Uh yeah, actually. Me and my friends just did a reaction video to it, actually. Oh, did you what did you think? And what was your reaction? What did you think? I it's wow, in amazement. <laughs> yeah. And you know, they're still in post-production. They're still working on it. They'll work on it right up until when the movie launches on the 20th. And they have, I think we have the premiere on the 18th. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going yet, but we'll see. And because I, I will be in California at that time. So we'll Hopefully see. Hopefully you're able to go. I hope so. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what goes on. But, uh, you know, my people um, that I was working with at Paramount have are no longer at Paramount. So it's a little crazy right now. It's almost, you know what I mean? And I know, uh, um, I know Jeff, you know, I know the director and, and I know Toru, one of the producers. And we just haven't decided how we're doing it and if we're doing it and blah, blah, blah. We'll see. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I met Jim Carrey years and years ago um, when we were doing some interview stuff for the Howard Stern show. And that's when I met him the first time. And he was super cool. Um, but I want to meet Keanu Reeves too. And because he's way into gaming. So that's cool. Oh, yeah, but, definitely. So I saw it and I was glad there wasn't any more hints of live and learn. So wait a minute, I gotta do this. Here we go. All right, I have to wave, I have to wave the flag. There we go. So I think it's gonna be, I think it was very smart that there wasn't any signs of live and learn in, in today's uh, trailer. I think it's cool. They're kind of like, they hint it in the beginning and then I'm pretty sure we're going to be screaming loudly in the um, in the theaters when when it when it plays. And I don't know what they're doing with the song. I just gave them the rights to use it um, uh, because I own the song. You know, it's my song. It's what's tattooed on my arm. Live and learn. Wait, how do I do it? Yeah, my friends. I, I was watching my uh, my friend Skulls's uh, stream when she interviewed you. Actually, oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, I always, I, I always I pull out the I always pull out the, the the tattoo so everyone can see my live and learn tattoo. <laughs> but 
But um, yeah, so I, it's going to be exciting to hear what they did with the song. We'll see. I don't I'm, know. I'm oh. definitely excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I keep telling everybody that I will scream so loudly and then probably urinate myself, but whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun. I can't wait. So I, I fly back to my, my uh, Connecticut. I fly back to Connecticut on the 19th from California and the 20th. I'm in the theaters watching it. I can't wait. Oh, definitely. We, me, me and uh, a few others just got our tickets for the 19th. Mm. That is so awesome. That is so so awesome. Do you live in California? Yeah. Where about? Like what what area in LA? Uh Victorville. It's over in the mountains. Oh, I know Victorville. I used to so I'm a pilot and I kept an airplane at Laverne and I used to fly through the pass and land in Victorville all the time. Oh wow. Yeah. I know exactly where I know exactly where you are. I lived in Rancho Cucamonga and I had um, distribution centers that I owned in Ontario. So I lived up by the San Gabriel Mountains and then I would just drive down to the to the to my to my company in Ontario. And then I would jump to Laverne, jump in my airplane, Victorville, land there, go up to Vegas, have lunch, come back. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. I miss California. I don't miss those winds. You you know the wind, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Oh, I would think that my my windows were gonna blow out of 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 the of my house. It was so crazy, so crazy. But at least anyway, you know. I know I'm, another thing you probably don't miss is the traffic. I don't miss the traffic, so I'm gonna. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know how long you've been in Victorville, but I will tell you that. So. Um, it was early 2000s when I moved to Rancho and it used to take me 10 minutes on the 15 to go from Rancho to Ontario, 10 minutes. When I left 15 years ago, it took me an hour to get to my office and back. Oh, that's, dang. How, much, that's how much traffic I'm like, what happened? Because, you know, Rancho Cucamonga just blew up with houses and gosh, it was crazy. And now I live in an area where there's like, it's like there's barely civilization here. I love it. I can't do that traffic anymore, bro. I don't know how you guys do that. <laughs> I I'll do be it. honest. I, uh, I, and I hate to admit this, especially on live, um, while live streaming this, um, I have a fear of driving. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. You know what? I don't blame you, number one. And number two, I don't blame you for having that fear in California driving. I did too. <laughs> so it's all, it's all good. I actually have a, another friend that has a fear of, of driving and he's a doctor. Oh, wow. He's, 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 and he's a doctor and he has a fear of driving. That's all good. We all have our things. Are you, you are we live streaming right now? Oh yeah, we are. We are. Oh, that's awesome. Does anybody have any questions or anything that you, you want to ask or I don't care what it is. You are free to ask me anything. Uh, somebody asked, uh, any chance we could get a Crush 40 and Kellen Quinn original song together? <laughs> so, actually, Kellen's a friend of mine, and that answer is a very strong maybe. Ooh, nice. We're, work we're working on doing a... I'm, I've already recorded a remake of a song. I can't tell you which song it is. It's not a crush song. Um, and I'm working with Kellen to, to add some more his style on top of the song as well. So that's a great question. And the answer is strongly positive. Ah, nice. Well, I'm definitely I'm excited for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. He's such a cool dude. I enjoyed I enjoyed him at the symphony and we had a lot of fun and laughs. And he was teaching me a little bit about how he does it. <laughs> like, dude, if I did that, my vocal cords would, would fly out of my nose. He's like, no, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. I, it's a technique. And I you know it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all. It's easy. I'm like, oh, OK, that's crazy. So we got to talk a little bit and hang out. It was fun. 
That seems like it was a blast, honestly. Oh, man. That was absolutely an insane show. Insane. I mean, you guys were so loud. It was insane. I loved it. I don't know if you remember that night when I said my Crush 40 fans are the greatest fans in the world. That's exactly what I said. And that place was just like, <laughs> and I yeah. was like, whoa. I loved it. I wish I was uh one. I was in the the front row actually. Were you really? <laughs> yeah. So I think I jumped off the stage, didn't I in that show? I'm pretty sure. Trying I to remember? I can't really sure. remember. Yeah, maybe it was the afternoon show I jumped in. I don't know. But um so I remember when we were in rehearsal um I was standing in the spot and one of the, uh, one of the, I think it was a violin, no, not a violin, a cello player said, you are standing exactly where Will Smith smacked. Um, wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. And, and, yes, and that's why June, June and I did, we, I don't know if you saw it on social media, we did the slap. Oh. Yeah. I had, June, I had June slap me because I was standing right there. And the cello player said, I remember like what is happening? He goes, I remember Will Smith coming up and looking up, and all of a sudden, boosh! He's God, crazy. But anyway, I was on that very same spot. I don't know. That, that's just a little, little uh, craziness the story that I remember. But that was an awesome show. And um, what else, man? What else is going on? Uh, let's see. Uh, somebody had a a good question. <laughs> they were um. <laughs> His name was Jared to Johnny. I noticed that some people think that you're a reincarnation of Freddie Mercury due to how much your vocal cords match his. So I got to ask, are you a Freddie Mercury fan? I'm a massive Freddie Mercury fan. Massive. I wish I knew him when he was alive. I know Brian May, his guitar player, and I did a show with Brian May uh, back in the, when you guys weren't even born, back in the early 90s. I played Wembley and got to jam with uh, Brian May. Uh, and yes, massive. So if you go on to, if you go onto the tube, um, you can look up who wants to live forever. I do a remake of who wants to live forever. It's my tribute to, to him and uh, to Freddie. And um it's I I it, I so enjoyed doing that song. Uh, I I and I sent it. Who wants to live forever? I sent it to to Brian May too, and he's like, "Wow, dude, you guys have to check it out." Oh wow, I, I I'm definitely gonna check it out after this. <laughs> yeah, it's super super cool, and I love doing. It. I've always wanted to do a tribute. It's not like I'm trying to sing better than him. You can't. He's so awesome, but I just wanted to honor him. And, and his work. And so that's why I did the song, put it on. I forget which album it's on, but I forget it was on a Hardline album. But anyway, it's on it's on YouTube. It's just like the static picture of Freddie Mercury. And then I, I sing the song and we do it in our Hardline kind of rocks, you know, style. So check it out. Who Wants to Live Forever? Um, Johnny Giuelli, of course. Okay. Okay. So I have a question. Okay. Okay, I know Skulls was the first VTuber you met. Mm-hmm. Have you met any after that? You. Heck yeah! That's it. Skulls and you. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you that when Skulls came on, it freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Listen, I'm an old guy. I don't know what a VTuber was. I didn't know what a VTuber was. Now I get it. It freaked me out. I'm like, wait, what is... Go I kept waiting for something to happen. And then I, then I figured out, wait a minute, I got this. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're number two. Nice. I don't know if I have, I'll see if I have more tomorrow, but I'm not quite sure. We'll see. Yeah, it's cool. I love this. It's fun. Yeah. Do you want to see something really cool, though, that I can actually do? Let me see. Okay, let me see if I got the seven emeralds here. Uh... Where'd you go? Whoa. Get out. 
amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my god. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Man, I don't know. You guys with this technology. <laughs> I can barely turn my phone on. No, I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. But anyway, I have to tell you, man, I gotta I have to go because I have another one. All right. And so I'm I'm sorry to make this so short, but I want to thank you uh for your contribution. Thank all the fans, uh everyone who's on the stream right now. Thank you all for always for your support uh for Crush 40. And um Let's kick ass in the Sonic 3 movie. Scream. Please don't urinate yourself. And, uh, <laughs> I, hope to, I hope to see you at another event, okay? Hope to see you at another one. Later, Johnny. All right. Be well, be well, be safe, be well. Take care and have a great Thanksgiving week. You as well. Thank you. See you later, Sonic. See you later.